Hello, and welcome back. Today, I'm playing some Dead Cells. Um, it appears that I've lost my save data in one of the updates. But, you know, it's I, I've not played it for a while, so it might be a good idea to start from the beginning again. Um, if you've not heard of this, it's a... Uh, it's sort of roguelike... hack and slashy platformer you think. It's really good. It came out on the Switch recently. And I don't think I've played it since it went into its, like, official release. Like, I've not seen her before. Are you the headless fellow that's been getting around? Yes. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Oh, yes, that's right. No tongue. Anyway, it must be strange to be back from the dead. I mean, surely you must have noticed. You can no longer die. I don't really understand it. But you're not the first to find yourself in this situation, if that's what you want to know. <laughs> okay, we got the basic bow, we got the basic shield. Oh, we can't have both? Well, I'm, I'm gonna take the bow. So what I really like about this game is, like, the art looks like it's 3D but rendered in pixels. And that's just a really cool art style. So yeah, the idea is you collect the glowy things, which are the cells, and you can spend them on new upgrades and stuff, and you find new weapons, and it's just a really good game altogether. Oh, a kebab! Oh, I've not taken any damage, I can't eat a kebab. I mean, I've tried a kebab, I think it counts as taking damage. Oh, oh yeah, those guys have had a had a graphical update since I last saw. Oh, the blood sword blueprint. Oh, nice. Shoot them all. Oh yeah, I've got a limited amount of ammo, so I can't just spam attacks all the time <laughs> like I'd really like to. Oh, I forgot about that move. Oh! Yeah, you gotta dodge on the back of these guys. Toxic. Ooh! Not seen that before. And, um. Yeah, we got a map. And there's also, like, a whole bunch of branching pads and stuff. It's really cool. Last time I played it, there wasn't, like, two bosses and then the game just kind of ended. Oh, we got a grenade now and uh, What did that say? Object unavailable. See description. Oh, you refill it. Okay, I see. Oh, and yeah, you got... So this slime thing, you can use it to make, like, a path, but that's like an upgrade. It's got, like, a Metroid-y type system we need to get upgrades in order to get to new areas and stuff. Oh, we got an upgrade thing. Let's see. Oh, that's new. Purple. Oh, they've colour-coded things now. Oh, that's really cool. I'm gonna go with red. I'm gonna go with the brute force approach. All about like it's Dark Souls. So, yeah, the idea is there'll be a door somewhere to take us to the next area. Oh, let's go tactics. And it's essentially make it as far as you can. Oh, an order stamp with King Seal. Casting. This is a direct order that must remain between you and me. Stop checking the prison entrances until further notice. Oh, that's ominous. All these papers are signed by Casting. A high ranking prison officer. Did he set a few pennies for a rainy day? 
cool. Oh, some books. Prison management for dummies. Bridge building from antiquity to the present day. Managing soldiers, how to earn their respect without using torture. Managing prison entrances and 10 easy lessons. Lesson 8 will shock you. <laughs> I love the sense of humour that this has. Let's check up here. Yes, the promenade. This has come on so far since I last played it. Oh. Oh. I'm only 30 seconds late for this door. So you got these time doors. So if you get here in under 2 minutes, that will be open and it will give you new stuff. And this is 30 kills, which is actually new to me. Well, look who it is. I'm the collector. And I'm about the closest thing you'll find to decent company here. I thought he said about the coolest thing. Bring me the cells you gather from others. In exchange, I'll produce a few useful items for you. Should you stumble upon a blueprint, bring it to me and I'll introduce you to some more experimental items. Well, I really want the blood sword. Why can't I have it? Do I not have enough cells? Probably. We can get the health flask. Oh, it's a health punch. I'll put that in there. Yeah, now we can get the blood sword, but obviously we don't have enough cells for that. Oh, hey! Mutations. Okay. Just the cooldown. Decrease the cooldown of each enemy. Hmm. Oh, this one lets me recover health. Taking that. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, and here's a pile of corpses. They look like me. Lovely. Is that all my past deaths? That's amazing. Oh, and this stores. Yeah, now I've got a health potion. I remember the health potion. Yeah, I played this a lot more back when it was in its development. There's no reason I stopped playing it, I just started playing other things. I'm really glad I've come back to it. There's so much more to it now. Oh, bombs! Get away from me. Okay. Yes. Okay, well the bow is good at taking out these things. Also, I think it hones in a little bit, which I didn't know. That's really cool. Perfect. What happened? Oh, there's a little secret there. I thought I just teleported through the wall or something. Oh. Oh. Tough. Now they, they can teleport. Good. Yeah, I'm not expecting to do very well on this first one. So yeah, when you unlock new weapons and stuff, as far as I can remember they get like permanently unlocked and then you can find them around the place. Okay, that, that was just stupid on my part. Oh yeah, that's another thing that I can't do yet. I'm gonna have to get into this game again. Oh no, I've jumped on the thing. Oh, that was a waste of time. Let's bring it back. I always... I like the, the blood sword. If I remember rightly, it... Oh, there was tons of noise outside all of a sudden. Um, it, like, helps you heal up every time you attack, like I've got the mutation for now. But it's it's really useful. I don't think it's the strongest weapon, though. You can also get some weapons that have... 
um, oh, that have some kind of like they'll do extra damage but at the same time you take more damage which are insanely powerful but really great to use Okay, I think the dummy helps defend the people that defend the weapon. So we just gotta kill them in order, really. Not too difficult. I can do that. Oh, this is the bomb guy. I don't like the bomb guys. I always end up rolling into the bombs. Oh, I think the, the course is lifted. Nice. Oh yeah, we'll... I guess we'll take the replace... I assume it's better. Yeah! Yeah, it's got some bonus stuff. And I've dropped it on the floor. I really want to get some more cells. I want to unlock that blood sword. Kill the training dummy. Yes. Oh, you gotta heal up. Perfect, okay. You can also upgrade that healing flask so that you can heal more than once. This game would be great on the Switch. It's since it's the kind of like a roguelike type game, the whole portability would work really well with it. I just have it on here because I got it when it was in. Oh! I'm gonna go red again. Because I got it when it was in early access, and it obviously wasn't on the Switch when it was in early access. But I'm really glad to see it getting around places, because everybody should play this. This one, I wholeheartedly recommend. Get out of here. Oh god, no. Oh nice, we can... Oh, it upgrades our mutation as well, I think. That's really cool. Okay. Yes. Open? Is that the, the door? Okay, I've not seen that before. That's new to me. Hey! Electric Whip. Frost Blast. Oh, that's pretty good. I kind of want the Electric Whip, though. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. Oh, that's really cool. I like that a lot. Oh, now we gotta go find some enemies. I gotta go kill them with my lightning whip. Oh, there's more... Story. An order from the king, possibly for officers. Anyone presenting behavioural disorders or noticeable physical deteriorations must be imprisoned immediately. Okay, that's me. I'll get more use out of this than the guards will. Oh, nice! It's a trap. Okay, let's just use this teleport and get back up to where the guys are. The guys are... Just lightening the door. Oh, but twin daggers are good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna... Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Twin Daggers. They're like my favourite weapon. Twin Daggers, I think, they do a whole bunch of crits and stuff. If I remember rightly. I was getting swarmed with enemies the whole time. And now I actually want to test out some new stuff that just nowhere to be seen. Oh, here we go. An elite. Oh, 
boom. Not very elite now, are you? This is one of those upgrades I was talking about. I think this one lets me do the the goop. Yeah, the fine rune. But you gotta be quick, it only lasts six seconds. That joke wasn't even slightly funny. Oh so we can make vines out of that goop now. Um Oh no. No, get out of here. Flat what even is that? It's like a flying worm. Oh god, that's cool. Bomb them. Slash them. Yeah, the third the third hit of that is critical. It's awesome. It does so much damage. I think I got one of those one time that was like quadruple damage because it had like some kind of bonus on it. It's just insane. They've upgraded this so much since it was in whatever version I played it on. So why am I extra fast now? Oh, and now I'm not. It's, it was a very short-lived bonus speed. Oh, what's that? Oh, no time to check out what that is. Explosive decoy. What's a real blueprint? Ow, ow. Is that the same how it sounds as it was in the beta of Minecraft? Nice. See, now I've got a whole bunch of cells now, but I need to get to the end to actually use them. And I think this is the end. Oh, awesome, we're going up to the ramparts. Eight minutes? Yeah, I am. I am no one near these. Let's get the blood sword. Causes bleeding. Awesome. Get some gold reserves. Also, the random starter weapons are really good, but obviously can't get that at the moment. I'll put it into the new health flask. So obviously you can put some cells in and get part way um, and then it, it saves them. What about the blood sword? Oh no, it just causes bleeding. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here because it's run over quite a bit. I didn't think I would do so well. I thought I would be dead by now. Um, but do leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. I definitely recommend you check this one out. It's, it's definitely worth it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you. Bye.